Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and I've got a really fun project for you today. Let's take a look at this quilt behind me. This is our block right here that we're talking about and it is made up of two old familiar blocks, the half square triangle and the four patch. We've then added this awesome friendship star sashing and I'm gonna show you how. It's really easy, really fun. So to make this quilt, what you're gonna need is two packs of five inch squares. That's 42 five inch squares and we've used Garden Notes by Kathy Schmitz for Moda. They're just beautiful little fabric. You're also gonna need some background fabric for your squares and your sashing. That's two and a quarter yards. Um, and then you're going to need your outer border is one and a quarter yards right here and you're going to need some contrasting fabric for your little stars in here and to make those you are going to need a half a yard of just that little contrasting fabric if you want this could be made also out of your border fabric that's just not how we did it so just make sure that you you look at all the all the options that you have and make this your own quilt so to make this block it's comprised of two blocks that are pretty familiar to us. We've got half square triangles right here and a four patch. So the first thing we're gonna do is make our half square triangles and you can see that they are all made out of the same color. That's, this block is commonly known as a friendship star and what we wanna do is choose two charms out of, one charm out of each pack so you have two of the same color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our charm like this and we're gonna lay a five inch background square right on top of it. We're gonna set our ruler diagonally corner to corner and draw us a line. Because to make half square triangles, you know there's probably several different ways to make these. But um, sometimes you wanna make them a certain way because you have a certain pre-cut or because you just want a certain size. So when you put a five inch uh, a line diagonally on a five inch square and we're gonna sew on either side. When you do that, you end up with a half square triangle that's four and a half inches and that's what we're going for. So we're gonna go over the sewing machine and we are gonna sew a quarter of an inch on either side of this line right here to make our half square triangles. When I get to the end, I just flip it around and come down the other side. I'm lining up my presser foot on the line so that it comes out just right. All right, now we're gonna cut this in half on our line, just like that, and we're gonna press it open. And then we're gonna square these up. I'm gonna show you how to square them. What you need is a ruler that has a uh, 45 line on it, a square ruler. And you're gonna put your, your square down and you're gonna line that 45 right up on your seam, okay? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this square back until it reaches the size. Now my square has a half an inch out here. I want this block to be four and a half. So I put my, my four and a half, my line back here on the four and a half and I count over to make sure, one, two, three, four and a half. And I'm gonna trim up these corners. I like to square up anything like a, any kind of block like this that I'm setting with another block because it'll just help your whole block go together much more smoothly. So again, this line lines up on the edge of my, my square. I make sure that my diagonal line is right on that seam. I'm gonna hold this down and I'm just gonna trim off. And you can see these are sewn pretty close. There's, we're just cutting off itsy bits. So again, let's do that again so you can see that. So here we are. Our outer line, four and a half inches, is on the edge of our block. Our 45 line is right on the seam. Looks like, now this one, interestingly, looks like we have a little more to cut off on this one. So we're gonna trim that off. And then I'm gonna flip this around and do it again, make sure. Make sure all my edges have, are nice and straight. And just a little trim there and a little trim there. And that's how you square up a half square triangle. All right, you're gonna do that to two five inch squares. So you now have four of these. And that means when we get ready to assemble our block, those are our four points for our friendship star. The next block we're gonna make is the four patch. And we're, there's, again, there's lots of ways to make a four patch. We're gonna choose the scrappy four patch method, which means we're gonna take 
our background square and our colored square, put them right sides together like this and just sew the sides. All right, so let's go to the sewing machine and just sew the sides. There we go. Just one side here. We're going to turn it around and sew the opposite side. All right. So now, see on our block right here, we've sewn just the sides and we're going to cut this in half. I have this awesome little ruler that's two and a half, so it sits right on that edge. And I'm going to cut this right in half, just like that. Now we're going to press this open and I'm going to leave my dark to the top so that my dark automatically presses, or my seam automatically goes to the dark side. So we're just gonna fold that back right here and iron that back as well. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a whole bunch of those, mix them up, and we're gonna sew them together like this so they go, you know, opposites, so they stagger. So I'm gonna put one of these here, I'm gonna match up these two seams right here and I'm gonna sew a quarter of an inch right down this side. And we're gonna do this to our whole batch that we're gonna make for our, our half square, or I'm sorry, not our, these are called not half square triangles, um, four patches. <laughs> I almost got lost there. I had a little brain, a little brain fog. All right. So once you get all your little end pieces, I mean all your little half, half pieces sewn on, we're gonna iron this flat. And then the fun part comes in that we're gonna go ahead and trim off this first, uh, this first two and a quarter inch piece because it's gonna be sewn on here to the other side. So if you'll just stay, hang with me a minute, you'll see what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna just put this over here till later. This piece right here, this should measure uh, two and a quarter and I'm gonna cut two and a quarter because what we're allowing for is our seam here in the middle, quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna cut each one of these right in the middle, like that. Right in the middle again, here we go. Right in the middle. And it gives us these perfect little four patches. And one more time over here. We just have to allow, normally they'd be, you know, you think in your brain that it's two and a half, but because we've already taken a seam, you have to cut at two and a quarter. And so we're gonna come over here and cut that. You can then go back and sew these two together and make another four patch as well. So now we have these cool four patches that we're gonna use in our corners and I get to show you how to assemble the block. So now it's time to assemble your blocks. You've got your half square triangles and you've got your four patches. And when you take a seam on these, they go from being five inches to four and a half. So we need a square for the middle. You'll see that right here. And we have to cut that down to four and a half so it matches. So I'm gonna take, I'm actually gonna take one of these in here. I love words on fabric. So I'm gonna pull these little words out of here. And we have to cut that down to four and a half. So again, we're gonna take our little uh, four square mat. I mean, our squaring up ruler. I'm gonna set this edge on the edge and I'm gonna cut a half an inch off on two sides like this. Now this middle block will line up exactly with our other blocks. So let me show you how we lay this out. So this is how you put a friendship star together. You're going to actually make sure, let me get, actually look at one of these so I can make sure. So you make sure that your, your, the biggest part of your fabric is touching the center square. And we're gonna do that all the way around like this. So here we go. And if you ever get one, some, like one time I put one on like this, if you ever get one and you see it where it goes straight in a line like that, that's wrong, stop and give it a turn. Because I do that every once in a while. I always, oh, see, there we go again. All right, so that's our friendship star. Now our little squares are gonna go in the corner, just like this, and I put my color to the corner. I mean, actually, I guess it doesn't matter. It's kind of the brighter color. So this is one of those things where you can do it scrappy or uh, however you wanna do it but I put my color, my, so not my background, but my color toward this star. And one more over here. All right, so then what we get to do is we're gonna sew three rows of three together and assemble the block. And I'm pretty sure 
Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can do that. We're just going to lay these over, so a quarter of an inch, and go ahead and assemble our block. And when we get done, our block is going to look like this. We're going to have the star points that are one color. Our four patches are going to be set so that the colors come in toward the center. And that's our block. So now comes the sashing part. So I'm just going to set this aside. And we get to do sashing. Now your sashing is this part right here, just like this. That's our sashing strip. One of those goes in between every block. Now the sashing strip is going to be the length of your block. You're going to measure your block and your block should be about a 12 and a half inch block. And you know that depends entirely upon your seam allowance so don't die over that if it's a little difference. We're just looking at making them pretty much the same size. So we're going to cut a piece of fabric from our background fabric, a two and a half inch square, and subcut those into 12 and a half inch strips so it covers the full length of our block. But before we sew this together, we need to attach our little corners that's going to make that friendship star in the center. And those little corners, let me see, where do I have them here? I'm getting a little messed up over here. Oh, here they are. All right. So those little corners right here are going to go on each end. I'm going to finger press a crease and um, we're going to put these on each end. Now the trick to this, all the sashings are made exactly the same. That's the easy part. The trick is they have to go the same direction. So when we go to sew these on, you're going to sew this way and this way. All right, do you see what I'm doing here? We're sewing the same direction on both of these. So let's go sew. We're going to sew right on the line we pressed, we pressed right down the center. And we're just going to go right across here. Right down that center. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to do the same thing. Go the same direction. And sew right on that line. Once you get those sewn on, you can trim off those edges. And I like to, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and trim those off. We're going to iron this back like this. And you just want to make sure that all your sashings are the same. Hey, I had a little guy hanging on there. There we go. All right, I'm going to press this out. There we go. All right, now I have a little stack of these and I have some blocks. So let me show you how this is going to go together. Because this little sashing, now this is a fun sashing. I did a tutorial on the Friendship Star sashing and I just thought since we were making a Friendship Star block, this would be the perfect sashing. And it really kind of makes this quilt come together. So you're going to put those in between every block as you put your blocks together. You can see they're in here, right here. And then when you go to put your rows together, you got to put this row of sashing in. Now this row of sashing is made up of these same pieces, but in between every one, you're going to put a two and a half inch square that's the same color as these. So look how this is going to go in here. See how that fits? All right. And then when you're ready to put your next block on, it'll have its sashing sewn to it right here. And it will make that little star form. It makes that little star form in the center there. And so then you have these big friendship stars, uh, your four patch blocks, and this friendship star sashing. It all comes together to make this gorgeous quilt. So this quilt ends up being 68 by 68. It's a great little size, fun projects. These are blocks we're familiar with. So we hope you, oh, wait, one more thing, one more thing. You're going to need four and a quarter yards backing for this quilt. Look how awesome that is. I almost forgot to tell you. So we hope you enjoy this tutorial on the Garden Stars quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.